smashing, but things can kind of wait for. So I'm glad to see most of their cast come through here for Smash and Clash. I believe this is number 12 or 13, 12, 13, one of them. We, we up there. We're getting a lot. But anyway, I'm about to tweet the stream out on Twitter. You guys should do the same with the hashtag Smash Clash. And let me know what you think who's going to be winning this matchup of Marth versus Mega Man. Amako versus Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Being a very prominent Mega Man player has been getting better for, uh, a lot. However, one of his um, demon characters and demon players has been bad. Somebody who's been beating him with Marth. So, if having to face another Marth, this would either be, uh, was it probably just like a demon coming back in a different. Um, something wrong? Oh! Doing three stocks, eight minutes! <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm about to tweet to take the time to tweet out the stream as well. Oh, wait, this is where we're from. Alright guys, sorry about that delay, but we, like I said, we are here watching this first round matchup. And, uh, oh wow, actually the demon that I was talking about earlier seems to be coming back for, um, for Evan. Not really get, getting that much leeway so far. Already has a 40% deficit in climbing. Although that Dolphin Slash up right above the ledge almost got him. Evan went for that strong down here trying to close out that stock rather quickly. It looked like he was trying to drop a uh, Metal Blade below as well just to try and get him. I don't blame him for doing that, but you got to do it a little earlier. You got to do it a little bit earlier just to make sure that that can even be an option for you. Okay, Evan, I mean, let's see if it's going putting that pressure on his shield, trying to put, bringing it back is a little bit of like that 9%. I, I like it, I like it. But still, right now, uh, Amako is just spacing out everything perfectly, and that landing up there was kind of awkward. I guess expecting him to try and make a high recovery. But still, Mega Man isn't a character where he can really try to approach um, Marth, unless he has his limits popping, but still, like, in between, Mega Man, Marth can just drop a fair and just, oh no! And that, oh, okay. Did he wake up? Nope. Third time was a charm. Alright, the fourth throw Mega Man has uh, a Mako way off stage though. Yeah, okay, has a Mako way off stage. Just um put some in the shield. And that's that's why a lot of people go for their jab option because they can just make somebody go to a, comp a completely defensive option and they can get a grab off of basically free. Like you ever notice when you see a Sheik or a Mario just do like a double jab? They do that so your opponent will start putting into defensive options and then when they either sidestep or shield, they get caught by a charge up smash or a grab or something like that. So really good option. Uh, just to get you good avoid a good mix up as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. Starting to have this um, damage deficit. It's not working in his favor again. Starting to um, already at a hundred uh, fifty nine percent, excuse me. 59% and went to go grab that metal blade. Just the, and got um, the dolphin slash has so much sharky abilities on that. I mean, look, yeah, so much sharky abilities on battlefield. It's ridiculous. Oh wow, got caught by his own crash bomb on shield at least. Not actually doing any damage from it. But right now, Amato is just on the attack using it, like, uh, using this, the character's superior spacing. Because like anything that Mega Man can do, all Mega Man has to do, I mean, all Marth has to do is just shield. So after that. I mean, he's, he's kind of, he's, he's kind of lame. It, for lack of a better word, he's just lame. I'm sorry, it sucks for this trip. Oh, she'll be at the up air, trying to get, trying to get an early kill, putting a lot of pressure on Amako's shield, but allowing him to start putting up an offensive pressure and regenerate that shield. The F tilt, not enough to catch Mega Man. He hasn't been getting any tips as well. One tip is really all Amako needs right now. Go, he knows it. With for two of them, with every single time. Yeah, okay. Ended up going for the side step there to avoid the shield breaker, but when he saw that, he pretty much just said, hey, this is your time to strike. Go on and do it. That's exactly what happened. And Michael takes the first game in that set. In that matchup, I feel like um, Yeah, okay has to start playing a little bit more reactively. I feel like he was just trying to play his Mega Man game, but 
Mars isn't going to allow you to play your game. You have to play his game. You got to play the spacing game. You got to make sure that you know your projectiles you're throwing are in the right position. You got to make sure that your spacing is immaculate. You got to make sure you're putting pressure on him whenever you can. Like he's putting out the leaf guard. Why don't you throw that a little bit more? Start utilizing that. He has a crash bomb as well. The down tilt that I was just about to start talking about. He had a down tilt that he did uh, end up employing, and now he's starting to realize what he has to do in the match. That hopefully. Hopefully, he can um, bring this back and we'll see a game three. At the end of the day, I don't care who wins. It's all about, it's all about uh, that game three for me, or game five. It's uh, the final situation. Oh, wow. Char smash. I actually learned. Oh, no, no. That was a risky move. We got caught by that um, early on, but he rolled right through it. Mako jumping over the media blade and just been evading all the projectiles for Mega Man. Nice pivot right there to get a little bit of damage. Unfortunately, for Evan, not uh, for yeah, okay, not following up. With uh, with it, with much after he got the lemon on shield, and that that back throw. I mean, yeah, the back. All the aerial attacks from Marcus has been Evans. Is it okay? Excuse me. Real undoing. I think he has his jump levels. He does. All right, fourth throw. He's gonna push Mark off stage and not be able to do much. Not even a, a tip for the back here. I guess he didn't feel comfortable with the spacing right there. Don't really blame him. Tried to go for the grab, but the back throw definitely would have put Mark into a precarious predicament. But what's going on? Oh, the up smash. Not enough. Oh, the back air from Mega Man. Starting to get in. Put that metal blade there as a little hitbox while he's going down to save himself. But, oh, he tried to read the roll. Definitely don't blame Mamako looking immaculate with this timing. But unfortunately, he does get um, caught up. And now with 127, the 127th, the uppercut. I'm not really sure what it's called in Mega Man. I think it is a sure you can because it's inspired from Mega Man, from um, Ryu. I, I don't know. But whatever the up until this call, it is enough to take out Mark. And now, yeah, okay, it's sitting in the driver's seat, starting to rack up damage. Although that wayward up smash is just random. But I'm not going once again, going for the read. But in this situation, you're going to play where your opponent is at. And the shot. Wait. Wait. I, I, I guess he missed time to jump. The only thing I can think of, unfortunately, he does fall down to his own misinput. Technical errors are a really duty, ladies and gentlemen. But still, he does have the damage lead. He grabs the metal blade, gets the damage off, and it gets a good amount of damage from that follow-up. And Amako is still taking that positioning. Excuse me, Amako is still get, taking that positioning and just running with it. You know, just sliced him right straight open. All oh, the back air. Mega Man on the attack, 872. Oh, I thought he was going to get the side smash. That jab and the side smash possibly would have taken out Mega Man. That point, but the other smash not going to be enough. Yeah, okay, it's definitely in the back predicament right now. Oh, he grabbed the metal blade again. Oh, this might just be the punish. Nope. He went for a nice idea. He does um, Z drop the metal blade for a slower descent. Nice pivot with the jab, go figure in the shield, taking advantage of the situation as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That was nice. He realized that he right here, okay, deal. He realized he kept getting shot from the dolphin slash on some ledge as he was coming back up. So he put the leaf shield around him and stayed in the area where the dolphin slash kept hitting him at. When he went for the dolphin slash, the leaf blade actually clashed with Mark, and Mark ended up falling down. I don't know. Maybe a Michael could have uh, mashed the up B and got back again, but maybe it was more so a situation where he wasn't expecting that scenario and he just fell down. Well, nothing he could have done there. He just, he just got bodied. bodied. But anyway, game three, this is the Michael's counter pick. He takes it to the, the battlefield. So, still the state to three platforms. So, the only thing that I can be thinking of that he wants from this is, is the um, usage from Wispy. But, I mean, how is that going to help against the Mega Man? Wouldn't that help against Mark? Like, on paper, it seems like... On paper, it seems like it would. Yeah, okay, with a really good punish on that Dolphin Smash. I guess expecting to get out of a bad situation from any of that. Oh, jabbing the Dolph Dancing Blade. Yeah, okay, it's definitely adjusted his gameplay right here. I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. But Amako is still not letting anything get to him. Just playing his face again. He understands that under uh, under Mega Man, he's at a disadvantage. He wasn't trying to go for anything too stupid, too aggressive. He was just trying to get back down to the level, releasing the shield right at the last possible second. And the up tilt after the metal blade, and there was 78%. Yeah, okay. Is sitting in a prime position to take this set. Oh, no, okay. He does sure hop back here out of that just to make sure he doesn't 
um, get caught by the shield breaker. That's not what you want right now. Now, like he, how he had the wherewithal to drop the leaf blade. I'm sorry, the leaf, the leaf guard. Leaf shield. Leaf shield. There you go. Excuse me. My, my terminology is nothing for a second. Oh, that roll was not what you wanted to drop at that moment. That was just a really random situation. You wanted to just keep running out of every single scenario and get all the light damage. I mean, all the light damage. Throw a crash bomber. Throw a metal blade. There you go. Throw a metal blade. Oh, he didn't get the side smash. Only got the second jab. What's the um, keeping Yeah, okay from making a real, real good comeback? I think I see what this um, Yeah, okay. Looking like he's uh, expecting the air dodge there. But it's like, again, you you have the lead right now. You just want to rack up all the damage that you can. And if the scenario comes up where you can get a kill while I'm saving your second stock, then yeah, go for it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you don't to do that. Wow, the jabbing. The jab mashing. Safe recovery. Putting the grass bomber on the ledge. Oh my god. Jeez. He didn't get the spike hit box. Bumped him into the ledge, but bouncing. Off the side of the, of the stage here on Dreamland enough to take I take out Gale K's second stock. We are now on a third stock, uh, last stock situation on game three. And that top man move putting him in a bad position. And now the damage itself has virtually evened up. 665%. And climbing now, Amako has the lead and has adjusted his gameplay entirely. The lead that Gale K had has all but, no, it's gone. It's, it's everything and gone. It's the kitchen sink as well. Side smash, don't know if I agree with that. I understand what he was doing. I try to change it up a bit, but at this stage of the game, uh, I mean, precision is all you need. Uh, he used an up beat earlier to get out of there, but fortunately, Mega Man is one of the, oh, actually, I think he's the only character that can actually jump again out of his up beat. I could be wrong, but I think he's the only character. That up air, the tornado, Air Man, coming through with a decent theme. I can hear him playing in the background. Nah, 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 nah. That's not the right game. Anyway, shout out to Dr. Wiley. <laughs> Uh-oh. Damn it, we're coming back to the legend. Elf Smash scoops him up. Not enough, though. Even at 118% with 100 rage, really? Oh, the Nair. He's on the, he's on the chase. The back here putting uh, putting Gary Kane to a safe position. Up tilt. He put it all on the line with that one command. Missed it in the up smash from one. It's going to be enough to take Oh, hi. Hi, how you doing? But it's going to be enough to take it. That was an exciting match. That was a good one. The first game, Amako just kind of ran with it. Yeah, okay, adjust it. And the best part where you could tell that he adjusted was that Leaf Shield. You know what? Now that I think about it, Amako wanted to go to Dreamland so he could have the same platforms. He wasn't really worried about Wispy. He just didn't want to have the sharking capability. So when he's recovering, he's not going to have to worry about that Leaf Shield shenanigans again. I think that's what that was the decision by. His, that was the reason behind his decision. That's. It makes sense because Battle for Dreamland has more of a horizontal ledge and then it's just kind of flat on the bottom, while Battlefield is more di um, diamond shaped on the bottom.